Hey everyone! So I am here with a little, not haul video, but it's sort of in that scheme of things. I wanted to come on and show you this planner kit that I just received. This is the Crate Paper Maggie Holmes planner kit. I don't know if you've seen these. These are sort of like the Heidi Swap kits. They, I think you can only get them at Ross, uh, the Dress for Less store. They've been around for a while, so I think this is an older product. I got mine from eBay because I was always very curious to this particular planner kit because I love Maggie Holmes. And this is the Bloom collection that they use to create this, so I was always very curious, but I could not find pictures, I couldn't find people using it on Instagram, I couldn't find YouTube videos, I couldn't find anything about this planner kit. So I had a coupon for eBay and I decided to pick it up on eBay from a seller using that coupon. So but I believe they were sold at Ross, I believe, with a bunch of other uh, Heidi Swap planner kits. So this is the Maggie Holmes one and Really, I don't like doing these videos anymore, <laughs> these little kind of haul review type videos. But since I couldn't find any information myself on this planner kit, and if you've been eyeing it on eBay or Etsy or wherever people resell things, I just kind of wanted to come on and show you what's in it because this is what I really wanted to like find before I purchased it. But I was like, you know what? Let me treat myself. I haven't been buying any scrapbooking products at all. Um, so I thought might as well just treat myself with for this. But yeah, so it comes in this case. It's self-explanatory. It's like the Heidi Swap planner kits. And this is a personal planner. So this, I already opened it just to see everything. This is what it comes with, everything here. And again, it matches the Bloom collection from Maggie Holmes. So let's just open this up here. And... And I'll show you what's in it. So I guess let's go through all the little bits first. So you get like an assortment of starter bits. This one is it's planner, but I think you can go ahead and use these things for like scrapbooking and stuff like that. So here you get sticker sheets. They're all the same sticker sheets. They're clear stickers, and so you get numbers. 1 through 31, and then a bunch of little icons, AM, PM. So these are more like planner e type, call, meet, appointment, but like everything else I think you can use in like a little scrapbooking page. But you get 12 of them, so you get enough for the entire year, which I think is really cool. So that's what you get here. Down here you get these bow clips. Um, the, these you can, they, I think it was confetti and like a little, uh, embellishment package they came with some of these because I have some of these already and then I think the cute girl collection from crate paper also came with bow these little bow paper clips so you get a, a bunch of those I think you get about you get eight of them they're really cute you get two sheets of like washi type stickers these are very similar to the bloom washi sticker uh, the washi tape pack that was in the Bloom collection. And then over here you get an assortment of ephemera bits. You get uh, little pieces. These are banners and hearts and ampersands and floral. And they all match the Bloom collection. This one actually the heart pops out like that. These, this is a tag, but this one has the hole punch. This is another tag. Uh, these have the hole punch so you can stick it into the planner. And of course the love pops out of here and that's that one. So little bits of ephemera pieces. And again, this is mostly like a starter kit. That's what usually these planner kits are. They're starter planner kits. And it's very similar to, again, the Heidi Swap ones. So I'm gonna pull this out because this is what I was most interested in was the actual planner binder. And I will say this, I was a little bit disappointed with this. And I'll tell you why. So. Before that, let me just show you what it is. It's personal size, and they're the same size as the Heidi Swap ones. I don't have a personal size Heidi Swap, but I do have a personal size 
uh, Jane Davenport, which is modeled after the Heidi Swaps, and it's the same size. I believe they're about eight by five and a half, the actual binders, and the inserts, of course, are personal sized inserts, but it's like basically the same. So if you ever have, if you have like a Heidi Swap or the Jane Davenport personals, it's the same. This one is pretty hefty, I must say. Was, I wasn't expecting it to be so heavy, but it's basically white with little gold polka dots. It reminds me of the, I think Heidi Swap had one that was white with gold polka dots, but it was like bare polka dots. This one has a band, which the older Heidi Swaps that came like this don't, didn't have a band. This one just has a mint band. And then when you open it up, it is mint inside and the pockets are the same configuration as the Heidi Swap ones. And there is no pocket in the back. And there's this little pen loop here. So why I was so disappointed was that it has the four ring mechanism. And before you tell me, oh, the Heidi Swap ones have the, the four rings, like the two and the two here. The old ones do have the two and the two. The new ones have the six rings. That's not what really pissed me off. If I can get the packaging here on the back, because this is what I was going off of, was the pictures that the woman posted on eBay showing the back of this. The back of here has the dividers and the pages all with three holes in them. I don't know if you can see that properly. I will try to zoom in. you can see all the pages have the six ring hole situation going on there. And so I was just like, okay, so it's going to be a six ring. That's what I wanted. la di da I went ahead and purchased it. And lo and behold, you get the four rings, the two and the two. And then these guys do not match up with, say, a, like the Jane Davenport one has the six rings and so they kind of don't really match up so these are more like the Heidi Swap ones so I was really disappointed with that because I was planning to use this for a newish sort of project that I started in here and I will explain a little bit of that in a second but I kind of want to go through what's in here so that was my little pet peeve about it but other than that it's really cute. The back looks like this. I'm not too fond of the eyelets here that hold this down. Um, I would prefer without the band, but it's fine. It's fine for what I was gonna use it for. So anyway, this is the inside and you get inserts, you get planner inserts for the entire year. Now, I just kinda wanna mention something about these planner inserts. The pages are thin, they're kind of like, this is like, um, not as thick as a cardstock, but it's pretty hefty. And then these pages, of course, are really thin. And I actually like the design. I love the Bloom collection from Maggie Holmes. And so I really love, and I, I just really love it. And I like how this is. So this is the month. You have a to-do list. You have thoughts, ideas, notes, goals. And then you have your monthly spread here. And it's all undated. All of it's undated. So that's really nice. And then you have this blank page here. And then you have this, which is like this, but for the week, which I thought was super cool. And then you have your week. The week is very simple. I love it. And then you have like a blank page here. And then you get another week. And so all your weeks are like that, which is, which is nice because if you wanted to like insert other things in, it's nice not to have the weeks back to back. I love that. If you know anything about how I plan, I really love that the the months are separate and even the dividers are separate and everything is separate. I love that. One thing I want to mention though is the insert size. The insert size, I measured it and it is four and a half inches wide and then the regular standard tall. So if I can find a, I'll take my planner out. And this, these are uh, regular sized uh, personal planner inserts. So these are the Jane Davenport ones that come in the Jane Davenport planner. Look at that. Look how wide that is. So I don't know what si like what size is this? Is this like a B6 size almost since it's four and a half wide? I don't know, but I love that. If I use this as like a legit planner, I love the fact that you have all that space in it to like to write. It's amazing. I was not expecting the insert to be 
so big. It's like a good, what is that? Like a, more than a half of an, half an inch wide. I love that. I love that. So let me just show you. This is January. Again, it matches the Bloom collection. And all the weeklies are the same. They're all the same. And you get enough for, I think, five weeks. And then here's February. And February is the same as January. So the month is the same color. And the monthly looks the same. And the weeklies are all the same. This is March. April. May, June, this is July, Make Your Life Worth Living, I love this one, August, September, October says Find Joy in the Journey, November, I love this pattern from this collection, and December. And that's what you get in here. And again, all of the backs are the exact same and all of the inserts are the same. So I just kind of wanted to come on and show you, show you this planner only because, like I said, when I was looking for, you know, because sometimes you can put in hashtags Maggie Holmes Planner or whatever on Instagram or on Pinterest and um, trying to look for like a flip through of this kit on YouTube, I found absolutely nothing. So I decided just to film this in case somebody else has been looking for this or curious to see what this planner looks like, they can actually look at it. I actually, honestly, even though the little pet peeve of mine was that the packaging was misleading and I thought it was the standard six ring, I really like how this planner is. I love the inserts. The inserts are amazing. They're so wide and if I planned like I used to plan with like a weekly, this would have been amazing. But I don't think I'm ever going to use these inserts because I don't, I don't really use a planner. So maybe one day when I need to use a full planner, I will use this. But yeah, so I kind of wanted to show you that. I'm thinking if there is a way that I can change out these rings, I would totally do that and put a six ring mechanism. And okay, only because I want like a fluidity between all of my little albums. But I want to go into why I purchased this or why I decided to buy it. So I've been, I don't know, I've been, I always switch up my, my, like, scrapbooking process and stuff like that. I'm, you know me, I'm always doing something. Um, I have this planner. This is the Jane Davenport one that came in a kit just like this, except it was a Jane Davenport kit. And I bought this one from Michaels only because it's beautiful. Like, I love, I love this artwork. It says, I'm learning to fly. Love the artwork. So beautiful. The inside is a teal, and this teal is actually a little bit darker. So it's like Jane's mermaid teal, if you will. And the pockets are the same, except there's an extra pocket back here. Whereas this one does not have a pocket in the back. So, and then of course the rings are different. But I was trying to start up a scrap therapy process again in my A5 Felicity Jane planner. And I don't know what happened. Normally I'm really good at, you know, just starting like something like that because, you know, A5 is almost uh, six by eight and that's how you can work in it. Uh, but for some reason, I'm just like, this is too big. And I've never said that about a six by eight album before. So I was looking through all of my albums. I have a lot of six by eight albums. I I told myself I can't purchase anymore because I have a lot of planner binders that you can use as albums. And, and then I was looking at my personal size planners because I have quite a bit of a collection. And some of them were empty. I did sort of like a, not a de-stash, but sort of like a cleaning out of them. And so I have a couple of them that were empty. This one was one of them, obviously, because I am using the inserts in my file facts. So this binder was empty. What I really like about these, these American Crafts personal size binders, the ones that match the Heidi Swap memory planners, is the size. So when you compare it to a regular personal size planner, they are a lot bigger, they're a lot wider, and a lot taller. So in theory, you can put 
inserts that are wider than a personal size. So like right now I have, I measured these out to be B6 size, so they're five by seven. And I'm kind of wondering if these are also B6. These are a little shorter than B6. So if you see here, the, the tab actually will make it B6 size. So these are a little shorter. So these are probably like a B6 slim. But I put in B6 sized papers in here because I like working in sort of like a B6, uh, A5, 6 by 8 sort of size. And this holds it really well. They'll, like, as I stuff it, there will be some overhang. But I was looking through all the planners and I was looking, I was staring at this one for a while. And I was just like, for my next Disney trip, I'm just like, I'm going to keep the album in here. I'm going to use this as my Disney album. It looks very Disney. The colors look very Disney. Learning to fly is a very Disney sentiment. So I was just like, I'm going to use this as a mini album for that trip. But then I, I, since I was struggling with my Felicity Jane, which is an A5, to do my scrap therapy, I was just like, maybe I should try doing a, keeping a smaller scale scrap therapy, only because I've been in a very weird place with my creative process lately, and I've been jumping around and trying to decide what I want to do, what when I, like, I'm just all over the place. And so to make it easier on myself, I work better when it's a smaller scale. I just, I, cr I end up creating more, and that that's basically what I want to keep doing is creating more like I just want to cr be creating all the time and for some reason a, the bigger I go the more I don't want to create like the bigger size I go the more that I don't want to create I don't know what it is it might be like an intimidation factor that the page is so big I have no idea but I'm just like, I like working in a small scale. I love the B6 size. So let's do a B6 wrap therapy. So I started it in here because this is what I had on hand. And, you know, I started uh, playing around and I really enjoyed doing my scrap therapy in this size. But I didn't want to keep it in this binder. That was the thing. I didn't want to keep it in this binder because I knew I have plans for this binder. And so I was just like, I need to find another binder like this that has these six rings that you know I like the look of unfortunately all of the Heidi Swap ones have a strap now and I really didn't want a strap for the scrap therapy book only because I know I'm going to stuff it and it's going to overhang and then the strap is going to get in the way I really do like the the new one the color fresh one the black and white stripe it's personal and it's pink on the inside it's gorgeous but again it has that strap so I was looking at the ones that don't have the strap and the ones that don't have the strap have the two ring the the four ring mechanism like this and so I was just like oh and then of course I found this on eBay and I thought it had the three the six rings only because the packaging had the six rings but of course I couldn't find any information on this and so that's why I bought it because I love it it's in my colors it's Maggie Holmes and I'm just like, I can do my little scrap therapy in here. But, you know, it has the four rings. So that's that's my long story about why I'm a little peeved at that. But, again, I was thinking maybe I can switch out the rings, find a, a personal size standard six ring mechanism and switch it out into here. I don't know. Or maybe I'll just repunch these guys and put them in here. But I really want to transfer all this stuff into here because, again, I don't know when I'm going to Disney next, but I want to have this for when I do a Disney trip. Anyway, I think that was a very long, long video. I hope you enjoyed the peek at this, because that's that was the most important thing, because, again, I couldn't find any information anywhere about this particular planner, and I figured if someone else was interested in this and like always saw it but never picked it up because they couldn't find information about it anywhere this might be helpful it's really cute like the more I flip through it the more I'm just like I really like the inserts a lot I like the fact that they're wide and they're separated like this but again I don't particularly like 
the rings. I like it wouldn't have been a problem if the holes matched up, but they don't match up. Like if you put the insert there like that, they they don't match up. I would have to punch an extra hole. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little peek at this Maggie Holmes planner and all the extra goodies that come in it and a little peek at my new little project here. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see what I can do. I can probably just repunch the holes and put them in here. That's fine. And then just continue with the two rings, I guess, for now. Or maybe I'll look into changing out the rings. Um, I've never actually changed out the mechanism before, so that that's just something to look into. I'll probably watch a bunch of YouTube videos showing me how to <laughs> change the rings on a planner. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed a little peek at this Maggie Holmes planner. Again, this is what it comes in. I'm trying to get this lid off here. So if you were ever interested in getting this from someone who's selling it online, but you know, weren't wasn't weren't quite sure because you didn't know how it looked inside and whatnot, I hope this video was helpful in your decision making. And yeah, that is all I have for today. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.